Hi guys, it's Rike and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I reveal a real fact of her. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a little Eamon haul for you. So Eamon is a Swedish brand. Uh, I have done quite a few, quite a few reviews of their stuff and I'm going to link my playlist up there. But recently I haven't done as many because, you know, as some of you might know, I moved. I'm also going to link my chatty videos about that up there. So I moved countries and I used to have an Amon store in the city. Now I don't anymore. So of course, you know, when there's new releases, I don't necessarily order right away. Um, whereas, you know, when I had the store in town, I just dropped by and checked. But also I recently visited um, my old home and I dropped by the store and the shop assistant, she's like, where have you been? <laughs> so yes, people there know me and uh, you know, I hadn't seen her before I left. So that's why she didn't know, I guess. And uh, it was a whole thing. We were all happy to see each other. You know, it was all good. And we did a little catch up. And of course I still bought like a few little pieces there because so recently they had like a big seamless launch and JLo got involved and stuff. And it was like a pretty pink and things like that. And they had like sports bras as well. And um, that sold out when I was ordered, like when I was ordering, so I didn't get that, basically. So they had it in the store though, and I tried on the sports bra and stuff, and I was like, oh, this is nice. So I did buy a few extra pieces, so we have a little haul from the shop, plus the rest uh, of the stuff that I got on the website. They also recently celebrated their 10 year anniversary, uh, so I think it was 25% off most of the stuff on the website. So I didn't just get the newest things, I also did get um, some things that I had been eyeing for a little bit, and they also recently launched a little summer collection with like a dress or two dresses, some swimwear, some jewelry as well. Like everyone gets into jewelry these days, like the rust free and jewelry and the stuff you can wear during your workouts while you're sweating or in the water and stuff like that. So they have that now as well. Um, I did not see those pieces yet in person, so I haven't really ordered. I don't wear that much jewelry, to be honest, so not really uh, too too enticing for me is that what you say i think so but anyway let's start with the tops so i will show you what i got in the store first because they're like tops or at least top related and then we'll go into my big bag here that i ordered but let's start with the sports bra uh, which i still left in the bag even if you go to the store they'll you know they usually have uh, one piece per size and then if you say, oh, I want this bra in the size, then they will go into the back and get you a little bag with that. And this is the Black Shape Seamless Deep Cut Bra. I'm usually a size small up top. I do have a smaller chest sometimes with Amen bras, so the extra small actually fits me better. So for this one, I did try on the extra small and it fit perfect. So if you have a smaller chest or if you're in between sizes, do size down. And this one was just very, very comfy. Um, so it is seamless, it is made from 92% polyamide and 8% elastane, which I think is their standard blend for their seamless stuff, but it feels very different some, than some of the other seamless stuff because it's not ribbed, for most of the part at least. Um, for example, it doesn't really have too much of texture, but it's cute, so it's like deep cut, you can see it's a nice deep V here. We do have a little silicone tone and tone logo, I know it's black so it's harder to see, and it is like a little rib, like I said, not completely, but a little. So we have a ripped waistband, comes up a little bit higher in the front, which you probably can't really see as well. And then we have thicker straps that are also stretchy. And then in the back, it also has a deep V. And yeah, just up and down straps, very, very comfy. No removal cup pads, but the material is nice and thick. And I just found it so comfy and it kind of looked cute. So I feel, felt like I needed to, you know, test this and or like not test this because I tried it on already but I felt like you know it would be a great addition to my closet um I like to wear sports bras like for everyday wear as well and then this one's kind of nice because it's up and, up and down straps because it's comfortable and it has a nice deep v so if you wear a shirt with a like lower cut this could still be a great fit and yeah I would say let's just see it on all right here we got this little sports bra like I said very very comfy um, definitely like a deeper V cut so you get some cleavage here, you know. I have a small chest, so for me this works fine. I'm definitely contained, but I feel like with a bigger chest it could be a little bit riskier. So yeah, I would recommend to size down if you're in between or to size down if you have a smaller chest. Because yeah, it feels comfy, you know. We have this rib band, it keeps me a little tucked in here. And yeah, no removal cup pads, but like I said, the material is nice and thick and very, very comfy. So I don't really have an issue with that. Thick straps, I also like how far out they go, so they kind of really also cover up a little bit of the armpit 
that situation here. Good side boob coverage. And yeah, very, very simple, but still like kind of a flattering like neckline situation. And then in the bag, we have the same design. Uh, so you have that V there as well, and it just goes, you know, nice and low, and you can show off your back and everything. And it is just really, really comfy. Like, I do like a good up and down strap. It doesn't cut into your traps or anything. It just sits there nicely. Um, a little bit of stretch to this material, but again, it's a little bit thicker. It just, you know, keeps you tucked in support-wise. I would say definitely more of a light support. But it is cute. It is very simple. It is very comfy. And yeah, definitely a good one for my everyday wear purposes as well. So I can definitely picture myself wearing this, you know, under a t-shirt or like I said, something with a lower and uh, neckline also works here for this one. And it's not like too long lined or anything, right? We have this, um, yeah, this ripped part and it's not like super long, but like a little bit longer definitely than like, you know, short, short sports bra would be like this, but so you have a tad more fabric here and yeah, just very, very comfy. I don't think they did this one in pink. I think this one came in black and the gray maybe. So yeah, I think they had like the top in pink or a top, I guess, but not the sports bra. But it's nice, I like it. And it's comfy. And what more could you ask for, right? All right, and then they had a piece that is kind of top related. It's not a top, it's just like a styling piece, I would say. And I meant to order it and then it sold out on the website, which I found a little incredible because, you know, I looked at it and I was like, it's kind of ridiculous. So, um, but I wanted to try it, right? And then I went to the store and they still had it. And I was trying it out and I was like, mm, maybe, maybe this actually is kind of cool. So I got it. And this one was actually also the last one of my size. So this one only comes in extra small and small, extra small, small, so it's split sizes and then medium large. And I got the extra small, small. And you're like, Rika, what, what is this? Like, literally, what, what is this? I know, I know, okay? But like, you have to see it on. This is the uh, black shape seamless eraser front add-on. So literally, it's like, you know, to add on top of your sports bar because, you know, it doesn't really have any sports bar capabilities. <laughs> Gives you like a little bit more of a high neck. It's made from the same seamless material as the bra I just showed you. And you know, there's stuff here and then in the back you have a little racer back and like this silicone Amen logo again, tone and tone. Comes a little bit lower in the back than it does in the front. It's, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> and like I said, you you have to see it on and then you can tell me your opinions on this. And I know opinions can like will differ, but like like I said, I also wasn't 100% sure, and then I saw it, and I was like, it's actually not that bad. Like, you can pair it with, like, any black sports bra. You could look, could look kind of cool with, like, a lot of different black sports bras, I think. Um, but yes, and this one was also definitely not as expensive as the sports bra itself. Um, it was 199 Swedish kroner, so that's about 18 bucks or something like that, probably even less. So, you know, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool. And uh, the, the person working in the store, she's also like, I mean, you have to, like, you either feel it or you don't, basically. So it's, uh, yeah. But uh, I would say, let's just see it on. I'll show it to you on top of the sports bra. And then let me know your opinions. I'm curious. All right, what are we thinking? Now I put on this, uh, yeah, this little uh, extra thing on top of the sports bra. And I think it's supposed to go on top. But yes, what, what are we thinking? Like I said, I don't know, like a flick, it kind of looks cool and, you know, there's an argument for it. I also feel like it accentuates the cleavage area, specifically for this sports bra a little bit more, right? Kind of points it out a little bit more, makes it a bit more obvious. We get a more high neck moment here and you get like a little bit of a shoulder situation there too. And it, of course, it doesn't add anything to the length of the sports bra. It doesn't really add too much to like here under the arms either. And then in the bag, we just have this racer bag now on top. Um, which is also why I think like this could look kind of cute as well with like an actual Razorback sports bra or like a more strappy sports bra or something like that. So there's this one um, pop flex sports bra I was thinking of. It has like, okay, it has like a lot of crisscross straps in the back, but then also bigger cleavage. And I feel like that could look good with that. It's black. And, you know, because I feel like you need something with like an interesting back or a racer back here. And like something with a lower cut situation 
or you have a different color and then you just pair that black thing on top maybe that could also work but yeah what are we thinking like i feel like it has uh, there's something there you know like it's definitely not necessary but like it's there's something there i think it's like a little edgy a little cool or what do you think <laughs> let me know like i'm really really curious because yeah I, I couldn't really make up my mind but like I, I thought it was cool enough to take it with me, right? So that's, I mean, that's why I have it now. But yeah, let's, let me know what you're thinking. Obviously, like, I'm not going to rate support or anything because it doesn't really offer support, right? <laughs> also, it doesn't really give me more cleavage coverage. But like I said, I think it just, you know, it flatters this area a little bit more still. I don't know. Let me know. All right, now we're going into that big bag I showed you and we're gonna continue with tops if I can find them. All right, we got this one here, it's pink. They don't do a ton of different colors, but like that pink was kind of fun. I'm not usually a pink person, but you know, if the pink is cute, I will try it. And this is the Cotton Candy French Terry T-shirt. So Cotton Candy's the color and it's the French Terry T-shirt, which I believe also came in like at least one, maybe two other colors. So not like the most special thing, but the color is pretty, okay? So this one I did get in my normal size small. It is a crop little tee. Definitely like a little bit more thick than a normal cotton t-shirt. It is made from 47% cotton, 47% polyester, and 6% elastane. Made in Turkey. We have a little stitched in tone to tone logo here in the front on the chest, which is what they like to do usually. And um, then they also had like a matching longer skirt that I didn't get just simply because I don't think I would have gotten a lot of wear out of this but you could have made that like a whole outfit basically but yeah I like the color a nice little cropped shirt it's a little boxy as well you can definitely see it's like a little bit wider and um you know it's it's definitely like it feels kind of sturdy but still soft so like really really good quality um not too flimsy or anything and it's summer right the color works for summer as well and let's just see it on all right, I felt like we could do full on pink because why not, right? So here we have the little boxy uh, Terry T. I think it is quite boxy. And like this being a little bit more of a heavy material, well, not super heavy, but like a little bit heavier, like it doesn't flow as well. So like I can kind of feel like a little bit more here than with other flowy tees. Like it just feels a little bit heavier and like, yeah, it's just less flowy. So uh, that's that. But like, like I said, it feels very, very sturdy. Like it's really good quality. Has a little bit of stretch to it, not a ton, but like a little bit. So that's also good. We have this higher neck here, high round neck, um, you know, short sleeves. <laughs> and then the, the stitched in tone and tone logo there. The length is also pretty good now with the high waisted leggings. You don't see any skin when I'm standing like this, but when I'm, of course, when I lift my arms, like it lifts up a little bit, but it doesn't show the sports bra. Maybe on the side here. Yeah, I think a little bit, but otherwise you don't really see the sports bra. And I do have a longer torso, so, you know, the fact that you can't see any skin when I'm standing like this, that means that for most people, you probably won't see any either. So there's that. And then in the back, of course, it's just very, very simple. Like I like the boxy fit. I'm not sure how I feel about it with the heavier material. Like I think a nice flowy material with some modal could have been nice as well. Like a little bit more of a summery thing. Cause like this being a little bit heavier also means it's probably gonna be a little bit warmer, but um, you know, it feels good. Like can't complain about that. And then on the inside, it's, it, I mean, you can tell it's a terry material. So, but like a, a soft one, I've definitely felt worse ones for sure. And it's just a simple little tee, but like I said, a little bit more sturdy, definitely good quality, a little bit heavier cottony and I like the color yeah all right next thing oh yeah this one I already tried on when I got it as the first thing so this is the varsity sweat half zip and this color is called pale khaki so I, they do a lot of half zips and jumpers in general, and they're actually kind of nice and like very stylish, right? Very in. Um, I do have one in dark green that I really, really like, and I do have some bigger jumpers or sweaters without a zipper in like a neon yellow and a neon pink, and I like those as well. So they're kind of fun. 
And this one is this pale khaki color, which also look kind of nice. And we do have this big Amen Sportswear logo on here. It's also nice and soft, like kind of like a velvet. And then here it says established in 2013. Now I'm confused. Because I told you, right, they celebrated the 10th anniversary like two weeks ago. For me, two weeks ago, which is 2024. But here it says established in 2013. Uh, 2013. I'm confused. So either that wasn't their true 10th anniversary and it's been like 10 years and like a few months or, you know, maybe they just established themselves in 2013 and then like they count when they like released their first collection. I don't know. I am very confused. Hmm. Anyway, back to the piece. So this one I did get in a size small, but you can definitely size up, size down, depending on what you want in terms of where do you want it to be like looser fitting do you want it to be like a little bit more tight fitting with the small it's like still a little bit oversized but like not like massively oversized so you can do it however you want it doesn't really matter with these pieces we do have that little like i, I would think it's just a quarter zip but you know and that little zip we have some uh, cuffs here at the bottoms at uh, the wrists and at the bottom as well here and some seam detailing on the sleeves too so that's a little bit more than you get on some of the other half zips but also the logo is a little bit bigger than you get on some of the other half zips I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of logos, but you know, it'll be fine. It's not a problem. Uh, I like the color a lot, which is the primary, primary reason why I picked this piece. And then also the inside is nice and fleecy, super, super soft. The outside is like your normal sweater material, but it is still very soft. So maybe not your normal sweater material, but your better quality sweater material. But yeah, the inside is what always does it for me because it's just so, so soft. So I like that a lot. And yeah, I would say, let's just see it on. All right, and here we have our little half a zip or a quarter zip, which I think is more <laughs> fitting. But anyway, this is the like khaki color and you can see, so this is my normal size small and it is already quite oversized, right? So if I had wanted a tighter fit, I could have gone down to the extra small. If I had wanted an even more oversized fit, I could have gone down or I could have gone up to the medium or the large or whatever. So you can really kind of like, depending on what fit you want it to be in, um, you know, just think about that and then go with that. Uh, we have the little velour kind of velvet, whatever. Uh, logo situation on there. We do have the cuffs here and you can see it is actually quite long. So you could definitely wear it like this if you wanted to. Of course, I usually tend to wear these like this. Um, nice big sleeves. You can see it's definitely like a boxy fit as well. The back is very, very simple here. And it's nice and warm actually. I'm, I'm getting a little warm in here because of the, the little fleece, right? So it's like super, super, super soft in here. And it's not like the heaviest of materials, like it doesn't feel like it's gonna be this warm, but it is currently quite warm, I would say. Um, let me zip this up so I can also show you how this mock neck works. Just get the hair out of the way. And here we go. So you have like a little mock neck situation when it gets a little chilly in the evenings, you know, so your neck doesn't get too cold. So we have that here too. And um, yeah, it just comes up all the way there. I probably usually would wear these a little bit more unzipped than that. But of course, you know, when it gets cold, you can always zip it up all the way. But yeah, I mean, it's a nice color. Like, I feel like the fit is slightly different than some of the other half zips I have. I feel like this is a little bit more oversized than the other ones. Like I said, I do have well, half zips. Maybe I only have one. But anyway, it's definitely a little bit more oversized than that one, but that one also had a different logo situation. So I, I figure, you know, this is a slightly different style. Um, and we also do have that seam here. I don't think the other one had that either. So uh, yeah, a little bit different. I kind of wish it had like the pockets here. Sometimes I like to have those pockets just for comfort, you know, so you can stand there like this, I think. But it's like not a major critique point. Sleeves are also long enough, which is also always important. And yeah, it's a little oversized, it's cozy, warm enough. Not the cheapest jumpers you'll ever find, but they're definitely great quality and they just, you know, fit nicely and feel good and they're cool, right? So that's that. Okay, I think this was it with tops. So we should have some bottoms in this bag. Let me check. Yes, okay. There's definitely more bottoms, but I was like, what is this one? 
All right, so these are the comfy sweatpants in black. And um, I do have a few pairs of these already, but I do wear them all the time. So I figure with the 20%, 25% off, you know, why not uh, stock up? Especially because mine are, like, I've, I've had them for some years, so you can kind of tell a little bit, you know, they're a little bit like, eh. Like, I, for example, lost these little plastic things on there. And there's, you know, it's just like, th these, these feel fresher. <laughs> <laughs> than my other ones but they still work fine I still wear them a lot you know I have a little Amen logo here and the material is like cool to the touch super super stretchy nice and soft with joggers I would generally go for a size medium but with these ones the small is perfectly fine so you can definitely size down if you're in between um, and if you want a tighter fit you could also just size down in general the material is 53% modal which is why you have that cool to the touch like really soft kind of feel and um, 41% polyester and 6% elastane and yeah, these are just amazing. They're high-waisted and you have this wide waistband with the um, drawstring here. You do have side pockets. They're nice and deep. That logo, it gets a little bit narrower at the bottom, but you still have like the more flowy top. And the back doesn't really have a lot of detailing or anything, but like these are just so comfy. They're also great for summer because they have this cool to the touch feel. They're not too thick and they're just very, very, very comfy. And I love how high-waisted these are. So it's... They're just amazing. Like I said, I already do have two pairs of these and I keep wearing them. They're they're great. Like it's a good investment. And uh, yeah, these ones just look fresh. It's nice. Uh, I think the last time I bought like when I bought the second one was probably like at least two years ago. So um and they're like I said, they're still like both both pairs I have are still like super wearable and stuff. But this one just I don't know, feels a little bit more something. I can't, I can't say. Maybe it's also because, you know, it hasn't been washed yet, so the material is, like, a little bit... I don't want to call it stiff, because it's not stiff, but, like, it's just more in shape. I don't know. I feel like with the other ones, like, my body has definitely kind of left its, uh, you know, its mold on the uh, on the pieces. This one is just, like, fresh out of the package. Um, but, yes, I love these. Let's see them on. All right, here we have this, these joggers. They definitely fit like a dream. They always do. So nice and high-waisted, very, very stretchy waistband here. You can see that, but yes, you can also tighten it with the elastic here. So I can just do that. This is how they came, so I can just, you know, tighten them a little bit, but I like how high they come up here. And it's like, you know, kind of like a paper bag waist, which I personally like. I know some people don't, but like, I like it. Nice and deep pockets. Uh, my phone definitely fits. So I can demonstrate that. There we go, it's gone, it's in here. And yeah, not a lot of detailing here in the bag, but like you don't need that. The nice deep pockets are a really good touch. And then we have the metallic logo here. Lengthwise, these are a little bit longer than a 7 8 length on me. So perfect length for me, honestly. And yeah, they are a little bit, um, coming a little bit in like in here at the bottom, but they, they're not super tight here. So there's still a little bit of extra fabric. So it's not like laying tight there. Um, but you definitely have like the widest fit up top here, I would say. And yeah, material is just very, very stretchy, very, very lightweight, soft, cool to the touch. So these are definitely like a a must have, at least for me, you know, I, like I said, I like them. And um, like, I usually don't wear joggers out. Um, that's not like my style, but these ones... I do occasionally, you know, for a grocery trip or something like that. Because to me, they don't really look like joggers that much because they're like a little bit tighter fitting. The material is like less bulky and everything. So these I would wear with like a little crop top or something like that, you know, and, and a sandal or something. So, yeah, but these are definitely like if you're looking for something like that, like the material is top notch, the fit is top notch, comfort top notch. So if you're looking for a pair of joggers like this, and I can definitely highly recommend these. All right, we have two more bottoms, I believe, and then something else still, so let me see. We got something pink. These are the Shape Seamless Tights in Cotton Candy, so the same color that we saw on the t-shirt. And these tights were the new ones they made. Um, they usually do a lot of like very similar styles, but this one was slightly different from the usual seamless things. So I was really, really excited to try those. 
and they did come in like shadow gray which was like a, a like a nice looking gray and black and in this cotton candy and obviously i love colors so i kind of had to try it in cotton candy with Amen, they size tried to slightly different so i usually do fit a size small although i'm usually in between and i also stuck with my small here so let's see if that's if that's working out or not um, but yeah, do check their size chart before you buy from them. And we do have a ripped waistband here, but then the rest isn't ripped because they like they're like most. Oh, this is very stretchy. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, they're most sold um, leggings. I think are their ripped seamless leggings. So then you have like ribbing all the way through. But these are like definitely very very different from that. And like look how stretchy. I'm not sure how squat proof they're gonna be. I'll be very honest because this is a light color, and you know. We'll see. We, of course, don't have a front seam, like I said, seamless, but the waistband is sewn on, so you do have a seam there. And then in the bag, you can see we have uh, curved glute seams, and we also do have some sort of something happening here with the... Uh, I don't know, because they talked about like it having like a scrunch or something, but it doesn't really look like it to me. Like, maybe a little bit. Um, I also feel like the Tone and Tone logo here is a little bit... It's not, it's not straight, is it? Like, right? It's like a little bit angled. I think it's angled. And then I don't know what this is on the back here. Like, next to the trademark logo. I don't know if you can see it. There's, it looks, a, the, the ribbing looks a little weird. Hmm. Interesting, because I never had any issues in terms of quality with their stuff, but this looks a little, a little weird. Just saying. I'm assuming the customer service would be really good if I were to, you know, contact them about this. Anyway, materials 92% polyamide and 80% elastane. Um, but yeah, like I'm, it's a little weird that the the print is so like the print, the logo is so angled. Like that's the first thing you see, kind of. It's very very angled, and then I can see the little bit of something happening there. Yeah, we'll see if I can contact customer service about this. If I make it, if I do that before the video, I can put some information on the screen about how it went. Um, but anyway, otherwise, very very simple. I also feel like there's a little bit more space for a butt. Like it kind of feels like like it kind of you know there's more space here, which is good. I always like it when people accommodate, you know, the butts, <laughs> the butts of this world. Uh, that's always good. And yeah, otherwise, there's not a ton of detailing. Like very very simple. And um, this was the color that J Lo was wearing, by the way. So they had her in this uh, what was it called candy. Cotton candy, pink, exactly. They had co uh, Candy Crush as a color last year, so I was like, kind of in this one, but this is cotton candy. Um, and they had her like in that with like a seamless top in the same color, which was unfortunately also sold out when I was trying to shop. Honestly, I was also shopping like weeks after this launch, so you know, it's on me, not on them. And I think they did restock quite a few things just like the week after I decided to buy something, so there's that. Anyway, um, I'm really, really curious to see these on if they. Uh, fit as well as they feel right now and um, yeah let's see that all right what are you thinking i mean the pink is nice i'm not sure like i said i'm not sure how squat proof they're gonna be that is uh, something for sure because i feel like the waistband has slightly different coloring than the rest of the leggings which sometimes happens but i like how high-waisted they are i like how they fit like they're really really stretchy like very you know you can move around and stuff like that and even though the the you know, the seam here in the back didn't look like much, like I can still feel it going a little bit in here. So giving you a little bit more of a glute separation there, definitely more than any of their other seamless leggings, because their seamless leggings do have like a proper seam in the back. But this one definitely does a little bit more than that. Like I feel like it really gets in there a little bit. And there's definitely also enough space for the glutes here. So there's like no t awkward tightness or anything. Like I can move around. I can feel the seam a little bit more than the other seams in the back. So that also tells me that there's something happening. But like, you know, feels nice. I wish maybe that the material, you know, like it's a light color. And like I said, I, I have a slight suspicion that this is not very squat proof. But like otherwise, like it feels quite good. Lengthwise, these are kind of a seven eighth length. I mean, maybe a tad shorter. Like I said, I like how high the waistband comes here. You have the um, curved glute seams as well, which also flatters on top of having this seam here. So there's that too. And yeah, there's not a ton of detailing because a lot of leggings will have, I don't know, some mesh on the side. Like some of this like weird 
lining under the glued stuff like that and I personally don't really like those details so I'm quite happy that they didn't do that here but it's like just a very simple pair of seamless leggings but of course you know we had the slightly crooked logo here I don't know if you can still see it um but yeah so that's of course like a little thing <laughs> that shouldn't be especially because these aren't super cheap right Amen is like kind of like a little bit more of a like on the pricey side I would say um, but yeah, otherwise they feel super, super comfy. I think it's a fun color, but like might be a little too light for this knitted fabric. Um, but we'll find out in the squat test. But yeah, they're very comfy. I would definitely say if you're in between sizes like I usually am, you can definitely go with your smaller size. But also, like I said, they do have a slightly different size chart that allows for a little bit more glutes. So do check out their size chart before you buy. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like I like how they feel. For sure, I think they did a good job here, but uh, maybe some other colors, maybe a little bit darker, <laughs> you know, could be good. Um, but yeah, let's see the squat test. Like I said, it's just like a, I, I'm just thinking they're probably not gonna be very squat proof. But um, yeah, let's see the squat test to know for sure. All right, I think we have one more bottom left, so let me check. Yes, yeah, seems good. There's just like a thank you note. Tickless best tips for a daily dose of wellness. Tickless is one of the co-founders. And then, oh, shape seamless care instructions. So maybe important, um, they say, we're so excited for you to experience our new shape styles. You may notice some fold lines when you unpack your garment. No worries, it's totally normal. Due to the fabric's characteristics, lines may appear since the garment has been folded during transportation. To smooth out the lines, simply wear the garment for a bit and the fold lines will fade away. You can also gently iron or steam your garment or wash in 30 degrees according to the care label instructions and lay flat to dry. We hope you'll love shape as much as we do with love, Team Amen. So yeah, they just added that here. I didn't even really notice the fold lines, did I? Definitely notice them on some other pieces, like along my way of trying activewear, but like I've never seen that as like a care instruction thing. Anyway, we have one last bottom here. So this is the Shape Seamless Flare Tights, and this is in black now, um, because Flare Tights are such a thing, and they have so many different styles. So I was like, I want to try one, but I don't know which one, so I just picked the most recent one. And I did get these ones also in a size small. So these should be the exact same as the pink ones, just um, in black and with a flare instead of a normal legging size. So these feel kind of heavy, like, you know, because it's the same seamless material all the way through, still very, very stretchy, but like, it's just more material, so it does feel a little bit heavier. Um, this logo is definitely a little bit more straight. I don't know if you can see it because it's black on black, so it's probably going to be hard for you to see, but this one is definitely straighter. Um, and there's no weird stuff happening with the ripped stuff. So I feel like the pink is definitely um, not intended to be that way. And you know what's interesting? We didn't have a front seam on the pink leggings, did we? I just have to double check now. No, there's no front seam. So I'm very confused because these flare tights have a front seam. So like, I feel like, why don't you just, you know, what? Why is, why is there a front seam? I don't get it. Like, if the others didn't have a front seam, why do these ones have a front seam? Just because they have a flare part? Because everything else is the same. Like, we have that V here in the back, the ripped waistband, same style of logo and stuff, same material. Like, now I have to double check that too, just to, you know, make sure. Um, but yeah, it's 92% polyamide and 8% elastane. So I'm a little confused. Why did these ones need a front seam then? I don't know. 
Do you? Like, is there any explanation for this other than they apparently just think that needs a front seam? I don't know. Um, otherwise, it also feels like we have a little bit more space in the butt for butts. That's good. And yeah, I'm curious to see this on. I don't think I've warmed up to flares yet. Um, a while ago, I think I told the story of how my favorite pants when I was like 12, 13 were flared pants. So I clearly was there at some point. <laughs> but then the skinny jeans came and I'm still stuck with skinny jeans. So that's, that's that. But, you know, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone here. I'm trying different things. And let's see these on. All right, on to the flares. So yeah, there's definitely like slight differences between the fit of the flares and the fit of the leggings, even though they're kind of the same, just with the, uh, you know, <laughs> the extra legs stuff. And currently like, so I am five foot seven or 170 centimeters, and this is their regular length and it is definitely quite long. So it is meant to be worn with some chunky shoes, I would say, because wearing it barefoot, you know, it definitely touches the ground quite a lot. They also have petite versions of most of their flare tights and their leggings as well. Maybe not all of the leggings, but definitely all of the flares. So if you're like, oh my God, if this is already so long for you, then how's it for me? They do have petite versions. Um, so we do have the front seam here. And I will say, I do feel it a little bit. I usually don't have too many issues with camel toe, but like here, despite my underwear and the panty liner, there is a little bit of camel toe action happening and I really do not understand why we have a front seam here. Like the, the leggings didn't have the front seam. Those were perfectly fine. They fit nicely, you know, no camel toe issues whatsoever. But here now that we have it, I don't know. And I also feel like they don't come up as high and I can't pull them higher because of the front seam. <laughs> so I really don't know why this needed to be there. And I also feel like this was harder to put on than the leggings because there's so much leg, so I didn't know how much I needed to get up on my actual leg, right? So it was a little bit harder to judge. Um, yeah, and then I will say, so this is black, and I just wore the uh, the um, pale khaki half zip on top of this. And I can, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but I can see that there's a lot of like fluff on here. So you'd have to use a lint roller to get that off for sure. It's probably not like super extreme, but I, I can I can tell. <laughs> I can tell it's there and it wasn't there before. So it also does attract some fluff and probably pet hair and that kind of stuff. So just be aware. The, of course, the pink would do that too. I just didn't notice that there. Um, otherwise, we do have here on this side, you can definitely tell. Huh? Uh, we also do have that seam here for the glutes. Here, I don't feel it as extreme. And I don't know if that's maybe because also the black is a darker color. So usually darker colors can fit a little bit tighter because there's less stretch sometimes due, due to the dyeing process. So maybe that's why, or maybe it's also because I'd have to pull it up higher, but I can't because of the camel toe front seam issue. So I don't know. But overall, I would say the leggings fit nicer. Like the waistband still like gives me the same amount of compression, but like I just don't get, I don't know. Like something is a little off and it might just be the front seam that's causing all the other issues. Maybe it's that. <laughs> Yeah, and we don't, uh, no, we do actually have a side seam that goes all the way down. So there's, there also comes up nice and high and you have that slightly curved glute seams here. And overall, I mean, the material still feels nice, you know, and still stretchy enough and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, let me just tilt the camera down so then you can see some of the flares as well, or some of the flare, <laughs> not the flares. I guess it's flares because uh, it's, um, it's two, right? <laughs> you have two legs. So you have one flare plus one flare. And uh, let me just see if I need to uh, do something with the, yes, here we go. Hello, it's me. <laughs> and let's see, this should hopefully be enough. So you hopefully can see, I think you can see, yes, you can see my little carpet here and you can see my feet and this is the flares. So it's definitely quite long here. Um, Maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work with the shoes. We'll try it with the shoes, but for sure, you know, it is it is quite long, even for me. So yeah, if you're shorter, you could probably try the petite version and hopefully that would work well for you. But now you know. And um, yeah, let's uh, do the next thing.
All right, now you're like, oh, it's time for conclusion. Nope, it's not. I still have something for you. I got uh, myself a pair of, there's like chunky sneakers. I was gonna call them, yeah, dad sneakers, right? So these are the White Athena 100. And I meant to try these for a while and then they had a 25% discount on them and I was like, fine, okay, I guess I'll try them. And um, listen, I don't really wear black shoes that much. I don't really wear white shoes that much. Um, for some reason, I just feel like it's very, like it's just so common and it just makes me feel weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be mainstream, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's weird, but that's just, that's just how it is. Okay. That, that is just how it is. So I see all these people walk around with their chunky sneakers and I'm like, mm, okay, if that's what they want to do, sure. And then there's all these flare pants coming now. And then people like to wear their chunky sneakers with flare pants. Right. And I was like, Okay, if I want to try some more flare pants, I should have some chunky sneakers to go with this. So this is my attempt of trying to see if these are the chunky sneakers I want to go with my flare pants. Okay, so this is what we're doing here. Um, yeah, and I figure if I'm already ordering from Eamon, why not try theirs? They're not like, you know, they're not your normal like sneakers brand, of course, although they have done shoes. They've done boots and they've done other sneakers and um, sandals and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think... No, I've tried one pair of their boots and honestly it didn't fit my shoe shape, basically. My shoe shape, my foot shape. Um, it was just a little too narrow for me and I don't really have super wide feet. Like not the widest for sure, I don't necessarily need extra wide shoes. But um, yeah, those just didn't work for me. So we'll see if these are better. I try to like look through the comments and see if you need to size up and these are down with the boots that I tried. I had to definitely size up. I'm usually a 38 and a half, which I believe is a UK five and a half and a US eight, something like that. Oh yeah, well, see, I don't even need to think about this because it's um, it has shoe sizes here. Now, so here it says the US eight is a 39, which I doubt, honestly. Because I thought it was 30 and a half as, a, as an 8. Um, but UK 6 is definitely a 39, so that is accurate. Anyway, so something like that. So um, I figured... Uh, pe some people said they fit a little bit tighter, so I got a 39 in these. And not a 38. Um, yeah, you can see it's chunky. We have our little Eamon logo here. And some like tan detailing, white, some black. And then in the back you can also see the Eamon thing here. Yeah, of course they look brand new because I didn't wear them outside yet. And uh, like I said, we'll see if they work for me. They're comfy enough. Like the sole on the inside doesn't feel as like squishy as I'd want it. Like my favorite things are the, um, the Vans with the comfy cush. That's what I like. The comfy cush is uh, amazing. So uh, the old school comfy cush is my go-to shoe, my go-to sneaker basically. And yeah, I would say, let's just see these on. I will try and see if I try them on with the leggings or the flares or with both, but uh, let's do it. All right, I'm down here again. It's time to look at the shoes. So let me just step back here. And now you can see them with the flares. I don't know how I feel about it. Like clearly now with the chunky shoes, you know, the, the length is okay not on the ground anymore but I don't know how I feel about the like a I feel like it looks a little wonky here with the <laughs> with the sneakers and the the the, the flares you know kind of looks a little weird I don't know what do you think like I feel like from the front is probably okay but they're also kind of only flaring here kind of mid calf right so maybe it could have been nice to have like a bigger flare or something Maybe that will work better with these shoes, but what else are you going to wear with these leggings, right? It, like, it's clearly intended to be like this. I don't know. It's just not my style, I think. I've been too traumatized <laughs> by, by all those chunky sneakers people were wearing when I was, like, 11 or something like that. There was these really, really ugly buffalo shoes. Those were, like, the chunky sneakers everyone was wearing, and I just can't. So, I don't know. And then let me just, like fold these over here a little bit so you can actually look at the shoe. So I hate caprice, but that's what we're gonna do, do now so you can see the shoe better. Um, but I don't think I'd ever, I wouldn't be walking around like this. But yeah, here you can see the shoe. So it is definitely very chunky, you know. 
Um, but yeah, you can see it. And I will say it is a little bit narrow in the front. So here in this part, the shoe feels a little narrow to me. So I don't know. And they're not as cushiony as I'd like them to be because they're chunky, right? So I don't know. But there they are. That's it. And uh, yeah, I guess it's time for some conclusions. All right, it's conclusion time. Um, there was definitely a few hits and misses here maybe, like the shoes, again, too tight, too narrow for me. I liked the pinks. Um, I liked the uh, pale khaki color as well, but I'm not sure if I, you know, need another jumper here. Definitely liked the shape seamless material, like it feels really, really soft. And like I said, that like bra, super comfy. And um, of course, let me know what you think of this little piece, right? Like, please do let me know what you think. I think it's fun. I think it is a fun thing and I think you can pair it with other sports bras as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. So I think there's definitely like ways to wear this like with other tops and stuff. But let me know what you think because I'm really, really dying to know. I want to know what you're thinking. Um, yeah. I'm definitely going to send a few things back, but like overall, like I said, the shape seamless material feels really, really nice. So I can't really complain about that. The shoes, I feel like, you know, it just seems to be that their shoes are too narrow for me. And that is fine. Like if I want chunky sneakers, I can buy from any other sneaker sneaker place, basically. So it doesn't necessarily need to be theirs. Of course, if you like their shoe, if like if you like this particular style. And I honestly don't really know what's so much different about this one compared to all the other chunky sneakers, but I'm not a chunky sneaker expert. I'm not a sneaker expert at all. So, uh, but if you like the look of these particular ones and you don't have necessarily like super wide feet or, you know, you have narrow feet, you could definitely try these. I think in terms of chunky sneakers, they're cute. You know, they're stylish, I guess. But uh, yeah, and I think I also, oh yeah, because I don't have the shoebox in this room here, but they did give you, or did give me a second pair of uh, laces. So here you, we have the ones with the black dots, like black striped dots, black dotted stripes, whatever here. But I think there was also just um, a set of white laces. So you can have like a different look if you want. I mean, it doesn't really change stuff too much, I would say. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think of these. And um, honestly, like, it's interesting that they also venture into shoes, swimwear, you know, all like a swimwear. Yeah, shoes, swimwear, jewelry, like everything, right? <laughs> they, have, they have it all. Um, I'm curious to see when Buff Bunny Collection, for example, is going to start shoes because they haven't done that yet. So uh, maybe, maybe they never will. Maybe it's, you know, something in the future for them. I don't know. But it's interesting. They try everything. And uh, honestly, I sometimes feel like it's, like whatever the co-founders like to wear themselves that they make, which I guess makes sense. If I had a clothing brand, I would also make what I'd like to wear. And honestly, like, you know, it's, it's a kind of a very Swedish style right now as well, because Swedes are always like very stylish, right? At least that's the impression I got in like the bigger cities at least. But uh, this is just like super in. The flare tights are super in. Um, all those like monochrome colors are super in, or like it's always in Sweden, like they do that all the time. So it kind of matches the style that, you know, you would see in Sweden quite a lot. So I can see why they make these things. Um, I like colors more, but I'm also happy we had some colors here. So that's all good. And um, I always like my Amon stuff. If you want to shop them, they do ship worldwide. You can shop from Sweden. If you were in Europe, you can shop from the Swedish store and otherwise there's like all their international things and stuff like that. But yes. Anyway, if you liked this video, which I hope you did, give it your thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos that are coming out. Um, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, anything, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want to, you can also follow me on Instagram and DM me there, but I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. And yeah. So if there's ever anything that you want me to see, that you want me to know drop a comment down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.